there, everybody, and welcome to the Verdant NLC Division 2 After Show. My name is Middlecott. I'm going to be joined by Duckling for this one, the final show of the regular split. What a split it has been, Duckling. It has been a split of League of Legends. Wow. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been great, honestly, man. Today, I think it has been very exciting. I love the fact that every game mattered, and I found that entertaining. Oh, be getting a win as well. Gunkus, man. Gunkus. I, I do like Gunkus. But there is a gentleman that I love even more than Gunkus, and uh, he has been requesting to appear on this show for a while. Yeah. Um, and we thought, you know what, final show of the split, split, might as well get him on here. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, Don Jake. Oof, that was a quick two minutes, man. That was a quick yo, two minutes. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me. It's Don Jake, man. <laughs> um, you might know me from my previous work as... Um, uh, I was the conductor in Thomas the Tank Engine, actually. That was me. I was doing that. And, like, actually, <laughs> I've actually introduced a severe behavioral system because Percy has been acting up recently, shall we say. Um, I'm, complete, I'm completely, I'm more plastered than the, the worker you hired, like, five years ago to fix your kitchen, mate. I've had about five pints, which for someone of my stature is quite a lot of alcohol, so... Yeah, League of Legends is just a is a foregone conclusion at this point, to be honest. What does that? What, uh, what do you mean foregone conclusion in that respect? Well, in the sense that League of Legends, in my mind, operates about as much space as um, uh, a, a Vietnamese tightrope walker, mate. So you know. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean, that mean? Jake? <laughs> Small spaces, mate. Small spaces. <laughs> Small spaces. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, gents, I want to get into this nice and quick because um, when I asked you on the show, um, mm. Jake, you did say there was a stipulation um, yeah. that we would not be discussing League of Legends. And that's something that I was willing to sort of like acquiesce to because I know yeah, that you are... Yeah, 100%, mate. You, you, are quite a, you are quite a personality. But what it has meant is that um, instead, we're going to be doing a little bit of... Uh, well, I guess art critique is the, the most appropriate word. I've asked both of you individuals, obviously well-known in the world of art, to, um, yeah. to, to bring out some pieces yeah. that you're particularly proud of from your own like private collections. Um, <laughs> and I guess I kind of want to see who wants to take the lead on this one, then. Uh, no, oh, mate, get me in here, mate. You, you uh, want to get in there? Okay. I'm, okay. Let him do it, let him do it. I'm confident, mate. Get me involved, mate. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll come to you first. Uh, is there you any... got them up on? You're gonna get them up on screen. We'll, we'll get them up on screen. Was there a particular piece that you wanted to go for first? Like, uh, let's oh, do... you, mate. Honestly, you pick you pick whichever one you want to do first, darling. I'll do it. Oh, mate. It's actually fine. Look. Okay, so right, right. Hold, in, in that case, let's start off with uh with this then. So yeah, what what I've got here, Jake, uh, yeah. as uh, as I'm attempting to bring it up on screen. Is uh yeah. is actually it's a not... do not touch sign written yeah, it's in... not fully written in braille. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's yeah, a, yeah, that's a go, bit more go. of a <clears throat> So Jake. Yeah. What's going what's going on with this? What how does this speak for you? Well mate, it's a fucking it's a fucking it's a oxymoron, isn't it? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. This represents the by by the by, mate, the absolute and absolute wheeler dealer peddling, you know, absolutely anachronism of the modern order yeah it says do not touch in braille mate which you can only know by touching so you know it's just an incredible piece of you know what i'd like to call postmodern, post-ironic see just complete filibuster fucking frankovich mate so for me i feel like yeah. i'm getting modern day rosetta stone vibes from this yeah um mm -hmm. And can see that, can see that. it's an interesting thing, actually. Like, what? <laughs> like, uh, uh, how survivable? Mate, it's, mate, it's Rosetta Stone if her nan died in Tesco, mate, and she had to watch it while her nan was just bleeding out by the meat oh, aisle, no, mate. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, you know, welcome to the 21st century, baby. <laughs> okay, okay, brilliant. Right, um... <laughs> Duckling. I guess we'll. Huh? I guess we'll come to you no, now. No, 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 okay, no, man. You, you look, don't. You don't. Look. What? I, I just feel debated here. Okay. You feel debated. I, I asked what do you, you mean? in person. What? I, I, yeah. I, I asked you. Do we need a serious piece of art? I can I just yes. find something funny 
and you're yeah. like, yeah, I need to be real. And then you put up a do not touch sign, which you can only read in Braille if what? you touch it. What are you talking but about? Yeah, mate, and, and, and look, look, man, duckling, I've... duckling, yeah, show that, us your Animal Crossing art gallery. Yeah. That's what the people want <laughs> look, to see, mate. So what I've opened up here is my Animal Crossing art museum. It's not very filmed out because uh, I think Red is a is a dirty scammer, so I'm not really talking with him that much. But either way, uh, okay. we have this. I can uh, I can find the name of it. Okay, uh, what's this I called? Have, uh, I have some sources. It's this called is, uh, it's called Le Bain, mate. It's called the Calm Painting. It is uh, sold by Red. There is no fake version of it, so you can buy it every time you see it. And there's a little forty sh ship. We can actually go handheld, so we can get a closer okay, look at the okay. details here. Uh, so as we can see, <laughs> as I take you through my I'm private quite... collection, uh, yeah. we have a little little, little girl here. Uh, she's uh, picking some flowers. Uh, that's uh, very yeah. adorable. Sitting with uh, whatever this is behind her. Uh, don't I just went I out of the camera? Know what that is, regardless, actually. yeah. I don't know either. And then we have what I presume to be a dog. Uh, it could also just be a black cat that would obviously brings uh, unlucky charms. If we look at them, um... so obviously a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, why is no, that a the... conversation uh, you need to on, have? Uh, uh, moving on, then over here we have uh, a dream stand or whatever. This is it a is. fucking. Uh, this is faceless. a joke, mate. This is a farce. <laughs> Uh, and, I, and I find that very inspiring, the fact that uh, some old piece of art incorporated the uh, modern uh, populism into Wait, it. what did you say that was? Uh, this is a dream stand, and uh, no face, you know, the mask. I wear a mask I, no, with a no, smile. I no, I don't. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. It's a Danish, it's uh, yeah, a Danish, yeah. Danish, Danish thing, mate. Is it a Danish thing? No, it's not a Danish thing. Danish thing. Okay, fair enough. It's a, it's a, it's a weird thing. Regardless, so though, dream, uh, what, is, what I really what like about that? this, yeah. Uh, yeah, what I like about this piece is when you look at it uh, from a... Composition perspective, uh, you look at the golden snit, uh, the golden snit, and we Denmark. Uh, the thing is, oh, uh, the looking oh. at the focus points, the, the what? Uh, the, the when we instantly the, the, make him, make the golden him stop. the the golden snit, uh, it's practically what you look at first. And what I look okay, at so first here is, is you are, are you trying to say the golden snit from Harry Potter in <laughs> Danish? Is that what you're I'm not trying to play Quidditch with you, you silly plonker. What are you talking about, mate? Uh, so what I'm talking about is uh, it's the Golden Snight. Uh, I don't know what you call it in English. I don't have the, the vocabulary for that. Regardless, though, uh, the Golden Snight, it is pretty much these lines that can't be seen, but it is what you first look at at a painting. And for what I find oh, very like interesting the, here like, is, uh, like is that I find it's humanoid. Lines? Uh, yeah, the horizon eyes, I guess, but I don't think it's that. Uh, we have this girl with a head as well. It kind of looks like uh, some bird is on top of it, which is interesting. Mate, uh, mate, you can call me Fibonacci, mate, because this is a golden ratio. Get on to the next page. Uh, wheel it up, mate. Come on, wrap yeah, it up. Go I, on I, to I, the next page. You, you didn't even like. You didn't even say that what the name of this painting was. Though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's it's a it's the calm painting. That's the name, man. It's the it's the calm painting. The calm painting. Well, that doesn't. Yeah. Cool. He's saying like, corn, like, mate. The corn. corn. What is the, it? The, the corn, corn painting. The calm painting. The, the what? The, yeah, spell it. The calm painting. It is calm. What? C A L M. Calm. Oh, calm. No. He's saying corn there, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a painting of some corn. Right, uh, Jake, next one up. Uh, let's... We've got this piece. Um, well, you yeah, actually, because the thing is, you actually told me to like, you told me in a very serious way to prepare some art. So I yeah, actually took no. it. Because no, no, I'm, no, I'm no. actually, I would like to say I'm a very culturally enriched person that actually, mm. you know, wouldn't ever, you know, suggest such Danish themes onto a broadcast such as the, you know, <laughs> my compatriot has so yeah. i'm actually giving you some this is a this is a uh, a piece by jean-michel basquiat yeah. who is a very famous neo-expressionist painter from uh, new york mm -hmm. and it's a picture of two of the detectives post the jfk case oh. and their faces have been kind of stitched and the text yeah. says we have decided that the bullet must have been going very fast and it's all about the uh, the subjectivity and the textual uh, coincidences surrounding cover-ups and such in uh, you know modern crime cases yeah so you know there's a lot to there's a lot to really chew on there much more than so, the, so, it, you know. so it's 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 I, I feel like it's almost lampooning a um a faux incompetence yeah it's a faux incompetence it's also yeah. a, a general comment on truth in the modern era you mm, know mm. which i think is interesting and we want to talk about truth mate the truth of the matter is that yeah. um you know, Animal Crossing is a is a, is a complete farcical expression of uh, no. neo capitalism and all that jazz, mate. So you know, 
Have you got a response to that? What? What? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll take you in front of the painting, I guess. Hey, oh, 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 well, well, we're going to another. Oh, well, no, well, no, you're yeah. not even oh, responding. Oh, 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 not even responding. You want a direct to response? Fight. Yeah, well, no, yeah, that's, that's uh, why we brought I mean, you man, on. This there. is a, this it's is a cultural show. Shit. This is a cultural show, and like, if if Jake yeah. is postulating saying... various things and you're not responding to them, well, it's not really functioning as the way it should, to be honest. Mate, all I'm saying is you're, you're a complete, you're a charlatan disguised as a piece of fucking mutton, mate, is what you are. You're a very silly little man. <laughs> and, you know, your idea of expressing to me pieces of art that I've already seen in the metaverse of Animal Crossing New Horizons or whatever, how about you find a New Horizon as someone <laughs> who's not a shambolic semblance of syphilitic waste, mate? How about that, mate? <laughs> I don't understand 80% of the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God, quite mate. mean to him, that. Uh, Bloobin in chat um, has asked uh, if this aftershave is supposed to feature League of Legends. Well, um, mate, the problem is, Blue Ben, I've gone down the fucking pisser, ain't I? And I've had about five pints. So your stupid little wizard game that what? you like to spend your time playing, mate, has actually gone, It's you know, it suffers very little countenance to me, actually. Very little consequence. You know, I might just get on the rift and drop 45 kills now in your peak elo, but that would be, you know, that would be me. <laughs> that would be me disturbing the tertiary environments, wouldn't it? Apologies, Blue Ben. <laughs> uh, um, I, <laughs> a very good League of Legends player I'm sure a very good person as well <laughs> and Jake is very very sorry for making you feel bad about yourself aren't you Jake? Aren't I didn't you make you feel I didn't make you feel bad aren't you Jake? I merely asked you you made him feel bad about yourself and you're, and I merely you're asked you for a brief second just to reflect upon the commonality of your dissonance within the League of Legends space. You play for AAB, mate. This was an A to B conversation. You must see yourself out because there's no place for you at the table, mate. You're a very silly man. Um, yeah. I've got enough blue tack to fucking fill up the Atlantic Ocean, mate. I'm not someone who deals with, you know, modern problems. <laughs> I've got future solutions, mate. I'm the Elon Musk of uh, personalized stationery. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a microphone that also functions as a pair of shoes. <laughs> no worries, Blue Ben, mate. The problem with Blue Ben <laughs> is if you if you start on Blue Ben, mate, he's gonna bring the whole fucking Rainbow Ben Association in. He's gonna bring Red Ben, <laughs> Green Ben, Orange Ben. All of them lot. And they've all got different elemental powers as well as the main issue. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a bit of fucking deodorant now. <laughs> <laughs> I, want to, I want to explore this more. I want to explore this more. So, like... I'm assuming, like, we're going for a fairly standard elemental array here. Of, like, yeah. um... So like blue is sort of like water and that stuff. We're gonna go like red is like fire, green is like plants and shit. Yeah. Yeah. That seems reasonable. Duckling, have you got any other paintings to show us, please? Um, of course. I have one ready actually. Uh no, we uh, can't use uh we can't use that one, Duckling, because it has uncensored nipples. Oh, because I have Yeah. So we can't do the worth of painting. Uh, just, just go, just go to my other painting, mate. Or has that got uh, nipples? No, I've, got no, no, I've, 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 I've sorted that one. All right, yeah, duckling. Yeah, let's have this oh, one. Nice let's one. have this yeah. one. Let's so, have this uh, one. so here we have. Uh, I can I, I actually didn't prepare for this picture. Now I have to uh, you, find you my didn't. info. Oh, okay. Uh, there we have it. I have it here. This is the amazing painting. There is a okay. real and fake version. What? Uh, yeah. The fake version doesn't include the hat on the uh, on the silly little man. Whoa! Uh, I'll take you over to the handheld camera. I don't know who this is inspired from, but it's yeah. probably from a real artist. Uh, but looking at it, we have some uh, some fancy-looking old men with uh, weird clothes. Yeah. And, uh, whatever, 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 whatever this little bib is. It's a conquistador, mate. Is what yeah. it is. Yeah, I call it a bib. Regardless, though, we have something in the background I can't quite see because it's a bit too dark in terms of the lighting. Uh, we have a very old, distressed man over here. I can't make it brighter. This is the best I can do. He's old and distressed. 
Yeah, this man. Not, who, who's old and distressed? This man is in distress over here. Well, I you can't. said you said that you said that he was old and distressed. He's old. He's not old, man. His hair is not white. His hair is not white. Uh, we also know? have uh, a little girl over here. Uh, probably. But she does not look happy. Holy yeah, of course, she lives in the, what, like, 18, 1900s. Of course, that was a bad time. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences. What do you mean, the Industrial Revolution? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking about the Industrial Revolution he, when it's strike me as, You strike me as someone who's about as well-versed in history as uh, an Alzheimer fucking Labrador, mate. This is really quite I can impressive. only talk modern history. This I can is, only talk is, modern this history. This is quite embarrassing. You just said... So, so, what are your overall thoughts on this uh, on this painting and the themes that it brings up? What did you say it was uh, called? Uh, it is the amazing painting. The amazing painting. Okay. Uh, what, amazing, we, what, right. we, uh, what are we looking for here? Uh, we're looking for about uh, fifty quid, mate. Are we, are we doing valuations now? <laughs> yeah. We're doing, we're doing valuations. Anyone's, uh, anyone You're assigning take it? material value to this uh, essentially what is a piece yeah, of digital it's artwork. An, it's, it's an NFT, bro. It's an NFT. It's an NFT. It's, uh, oh, they're going yeah, to the this, moon. This is like single. This is like NFTs for single mothers from Albania. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not familiar know. with that YouTube series. I, I, have, I have way more over here as well. It's entirely, I, fun entirely funded by me. Uh, you got the Mona. You got the Mona Lisa. Got, oh, have you got the Mona oh, Lisa? What? You probably, uh, you probably, you, you probably, you probably tell you. You probably tell your parents you're an art collector, don't you? Yeah, of course. I care a lot about art. What? What uh, does? Oh, uh, oh, uh, we have to zoom away from the Willy, man. We can't. Uh, can't focus oh, on that. Oh, God, bro. We can't. We can't have the Willy on there. Didn't look uh, particularly there happy with the circumstances. Yeah. And let's what, just uh, let's just go uh, to handheld. What does Animal Crossing call that? Uh, the famous painting. The famous painting it is quite a yeah. famous painting. There is also another very famous painting. It is the Louis Van Gogh painting. The Louis uh, Van painting. Gogh. Oh, the Louis Van Gogh painting. <laughs> oh, why, have you, why have you said his name like the former manager of Manchester United, Louis Van Gogh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure about his first name. I can only remember the last name, but Van Gogh. Uh, regardless, we have this one That's as well. That's terrible for me, mate. Louis Van Gogh Army, mate. <laughs> Louis Van Gogh Army. <laughs> uh, it oh, is, uh, it's actually a beautiful one. Name, I find it is, very his name is Vincent, beautiful. mate. It's Vincent. Vincent. Is it Vincent, mate? Vincent. <laughs> Louis Van Gogh. <laughs> 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 uh, you know what that's yeah. called? It's called Starry Night, mate. That's what it's called. Oh, the Starry Night. It, it is a Starry Night. I will give him that. Well, I yeah. actually do believe well, yeah, that's why he called the painting. I'll, uh, give, give me two seconds, man. Give me two seconds. What? What? Oh, I, thank why God he's he, gone. Why is he just let's, gone? Let's talk about some important stuff now. Um, you seen the well. price of milk in Kazakhstan? There we go, guys. Come back. Price, I'll, price of milk let me, in Kazakhstan. Let me show you guys a starry fucking night. Okay. There we go. Inspired right. by Louis Van Gogh's starry night. We have starry <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just not. It's not Louis Van Gogh. It's not Louis Van Gogh. <laughs> Inspired by Vincent Van Gogh, Starry by Night, Vincent we have some Gogh. Starry okay. fucking socks. Okay, you've got some socks. Congratulations. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very proud of you, Doug. Everyone's got, everyone's got socks, man. <laughs> Most people have socks. Some people have socks. Right, Jake, Um, we are actually ready now for your uh, your third and final painting, I believe. Let's come around sure, a little bit, guys. What yeah. do you mean, poor on the R front? I mean, he's done poor on the R front. I've done very oh, well, shut mate. Up. Man. Whoa, this... whoa, duckling! Were you about to swear there? Um, well, this I, is I this know. has been it's been somewhat edited, but this is uh, the I dream caused. <laughs> this is dream caused by the flight of a bee around a pomegranate a second before awakening, by Salvador Dali. Hmm? And Salvador Dali is a great uh, abstract painter who uh, did a lot of work How in the. Have you done uh, your research, man? I, I know no, this no, all. No, in, no. I know this all innately because I'm a oh. you know, I'm, I'm you know I'm in you know I'm in the know how mate. Yeah. But uh, it's a great piece of art. It really inspired me. Just the title, it really made me feel like uh, it's, it's got like legs on it. Yeah, that is winning you like multiple Scrabble games simultaneously. I think hundred percent. And I think it really showed me that something could be quite out there, but then also have like a very out there title as well. And like hmm. a lot of people think that um titles have to be like very like Starry Night, for example, or like the Mona Lisa, like yeah. very like two three words like very simple or just explain it as it is but it's, 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 yeah it's all about the transition between form and function and the relationship between the mm. two right yeah, more certainly, more i think certainly. as abstract uh, art grew so did the expression of the unknown and more postmodern, uh you know themes and such and i would like to describe myself as a as, as a postmodern construct i think i'm the uh the the ass bone of a gorilla 
kind of mixed with a harsh set of consonants in an abandoned opera theater is what i would describe myself as on a latex sponge headed for the world trade center that's what i would describe myself as cool. what does that mean jake what does that well, mean like things come out of your mouth and they don't have any meaning associated with them and that makes me upset well i'd like to say that i'm a go-getter in cold weather so you know yeah what do you own a jacket no i just you know i'm someone who gets out there and the thing about phonics is it enough money can make a money can, enough money can make a man addicted to phonics even if they're mute what duckling yeah. duckling can you please say something vaguely intelligent man i'm losing it i'm losing it yeah so uh man i'm just at a loss of words i don't even know what's going on honestly at lost well words. fair enough man yeah, what, what, do you want me, what, do you, what do you want me to say? This was not what I was expecting, I'll be brutally honest. Not, not what you're expecting. Fair enough, man. Yeah, I, obviously. I feel, like, I feel like what we need to do now is have a little bit of, um, like, cross-cultural discussion here. Cross-cultural, yeah. I'll, I'll talk Denmark with you guys. I, I like talking Denmark. Um, my main question about Denmark is that do you, any of you know that you sound like that? What does that mean? What does yeah, that what, mean? What? Well, I think it's rather evident what I mean by that. Do Do any of you know that you sort of sound like that? Yeah, sadly we do. Yeah. Well, he says, "Carpets will be coming, man. Fucking gladly man." Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, not not really, but uh, but I think I get your point. Somewhat. Yeah, my my, my <laughs> name's Duck. My name, <laughs> hey, hey guys, my name's Duckling, man. <laughs> I've got like an art collection on my. Like, he doesn't sound yeah. like that. I've got like an art collection on my Nintendo Switch, man. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool collection. Uh, it's a pretty cool collection. Hey, it's, it's it's shit, man. I don't I don't give a, I don't really care about it, honestly. Yeah. It, I just have it laying around. I care more about my fossil collection. Would you say you don't give a rat's ass? Is what you're saying to me? Yeah, you could probably say that. Uh, yeah. but, like, why do you think I can't I can't talk about art? You literally could have brought up a worse topic. Than well, art. Are, are, are there any topics that like you, you prefer to talk about then? Well, if you talk about chance, if you talk about chance and luck, mate, there are a lot of um, addicts that have found needles in haystacks, mate. So there are rather stupid, stupendous odds that can occur. Again, Jake, it feels like you're not. Yeah. That's that's not progressed the conversation forward in any, in any way, shape, or form. You've just laid <laughs> out words on the table and expect us to be able to like take something from that, man. Well, it's I don't not... know, mate. It's not what, my fault. What do we want to talk about then? It's not my fault if you can't follow on, mate. Well, you've got to leave some sort of breadcrumbs there, because otherwise... There's a, there's a just... lot of people that have tried to look up the Statue of Liberty skirt and failed miserably, mate. So... Are there? Yeah, there are. Are there? Are there? Have you got a source yeah. for that? <laughs> well, well, I've... Source, mate. Anecdotally, mate, I've tried Anecdot and I've failed. You... You... <laughs> Yeah, Why? I tried. I, I tried to Why? look up the what's, Statue of Liberty goal? skirt. What's the goal? Why? why well, there's you... actually nothing under there because it's it's an entirely you know it's a full construction, mate. Well, yeah, there's people, isn't it? Because it's like a it's well, a no, it's, thing that you climb up your inside. It doesn't really have anywhere you can sort of look up inside of. Oh, is it? Sort of, you know. That's quite. Unfair. I've actually I've actually climbed up a chimney because I'm quite a small person before. You climbed up. A... Yeah. I wanted to see what a chimney sweep, what that would be like, because I think you, no, you've not climbed up. You've not climbed up a chimney, Jake. You've not climbed I have, up a chimney. I have, no, you have in my in my in my younger days. I did, you yeah. You haven't. No, I don't believe. I, you. I did. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Well, I don't really care that you believe me or not, mate. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a complete and utter. You know, it's a fact of my fact of my life, mate, that I have indeed climbed up a chimney. <laughs> well, middle right. you're the host here. How do you how do you progress this oh. situation? Don Jake, thank you very much for coming on the show uh, with us this evening. The problem with climbing up a chimney is you don't want to do it on Christmas, because if you do it on Christmas, then there might be two people in the chimney. And as we all know, there's not, there's, you know, there's, this, this chimney is just about big enough for the one of us. Thanks for jumping on the show, Jake. Well, uh... Are you actually going to do it? You can't get rid of him, mate. <laughs> No, I'm 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 the show now. <laughs> you owns it. You owns it. He's I'm everywhere. Only, I'm the only one the show. Cuckling, we'll try and talk about some League of Legends stuff. No, we so can that, talk... that's enough art. I can close down my Animal Crossing. Oh. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, we could. Yeah, everyone can still hear you, Jake. <laughs> right, just let's, talk of... about some, let's talk about some League of Legends then. You want to talk about some League of Legends, okay? Yeah, put if, me if back you, on the screen now. If you now. promise to talk about League of, League of Legends, we'll bring you back, okay? Yeah, 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 do that now. Okay. So, Jake, League of Legends, thoughts? Well, the thing about League of Legends is it's really a rule of attrition, isn't it, really, between the two sides? You've got to kind of lay out the battle lines, just, you know, work towards the enemy nexus. That's the most important thing. Yeah, and we saw we saw we saw that today in the games between Rate Gaming and Flong. It was really a massive war of attrition. You mean Flong? Yeah, we're Flong. Not doing, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing Flong versus Flong. Yeah, of course. Well, we could do. I don't really mind. No, it was. You say war of attrition. It wasn't really a war of attrition though. It was quite a fast-paced game. I feel like Rate Gaming really sort of like put on the afterburners there and, and made things occur. Well, the main issue in, in my sort of description of that game is that I didn't actually watch it, so... Ah, yeah, yeah. I, actually, feel, like, I feel like that would negatively impact your ability to yeah, offer no, analysis. It's, yeah, it's ma massive inhibition in that regard. No, no, but... un understandable as well. Duckham, did you watch that game? Uh, which game? Uh, Rate Gaming versus Flong. Yeah, it wasn't fun. I was playing an Aram meanwhile because it, uh, it wasn't a Flink game. It was, uh, it it was, was a Raid game, was and they destroyed game. Flink. What do you mean it wasn't a flung game? It yeah, it wasn't flung games to win because game to win. They didn't play well. Why were you playing? They... An, why were you playing an Aram then? I thought you were a, a, a fan. Well, mate, I were a fan and I had, it, I had it on my second monitor. Of course, you know I you keep it. I'm your, keeping up your, your second monitor, okay, not first monitor, yeah. Yeah, I do you want me to play League on my second monitor while I watch stuff on my first monitor? Well, I mean, it seems like a reasonable thing to do, to be perfectly honest. Like, if you're actually a flung fan. What I'm saying is, is that I did watch the game and it wasn't pretty. Raid dominated flung. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a mate who's got about 20 monitors. Yeah? Yeah, he's a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm actually enough. laughing at that little girl. Uh, no, no, it's just, I, he, if I don't laugh, if I don't laugh, he feels upset. Um, <laughs> but there was actually um, something I learned today. Um, that's, a good, that's a good joke, man. Which is quite a, a serendipitous event that we've actually got you both on. Um, because, Don Jake, I know that you've got quite close sort of personal ties with Heathon. Like, I feel like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, you've obviously... Um, you lived together for a couple years. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you, you adopted that dog together. So, um, mm. I, I feel like you've got quite a strong relationship for, um, with him. Duckling has been... Yeah. A pet, is, where are you? Uh, I'm just under the table, tilting already. Oh yeah, well, duckling. That's, that's a... Duckling yeah. um has been set a challenge to reach master, and he and grandmaster and grandmaster and grandmaster. So he wants to do a little bit of climbing. Um, yeah. and he thought he would hit up Hedon to uh, to get some coaching, but um he's being ghosted. I was just wondering if that's a situation. Oh, who, who's who, who's being ghosted? Duckling. Uh, well, the, the, oh. guy, the guy. Oh seems really? To be, uh, the other uh, side of you, yeah. Oh um, right. Uh, and I was and just, thought, just thought, you know. There's always a cure for being a disgusting random. <laughs> uh, I have actually been random checked by Dun Jake before. <laughs> I think you're currently being random checked. Uh, by I got Dunjake. I got random checked in Isabel's Discord by by Dun Jake. Really? Oh, uh, is she the um rank one A ram flash? Well, yeah. Did you actually not see uh, the, her announcement today about yeah, the no, charity A ram tournament? Cool. Um, she's yeah. actually not. She's just, you know. I'm pretty sure she, she is. If you queue with four, if you queue with four other people that are also challenger and Aram, yeah, like me, I'm challenger like, Aram. It's, like, it's, like, it's like rank flex, isn't it? You just sort of, you know, post I, don't think, I don't think it's. I don't think it's even got the prestige of rank flex. No, not even. It's, it's like, just no, 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 no. It does. It does. No, it's mate, like people, ranked... people who take people who take Aram seriously, mate. Salute to you. <laughs> really. Nah man, nah man, nah man. There's, a, you... there's, a, there's a meta, mate. There's a, there's a nah, prop man, thing to take nah, a proposition. Nah, man, but if you are forcing an end at the end of an ARAM game, like, there is something wrong with you, in my opinion. But the thing is, you have to realize, Milka, when you reach high enough ELO on ARAM, everyone does that, and when they start doing it to you, you get pissed off, so you start tryharding in return. I don't... I, is there actually, like, ARAM MMR? Is there... Is, is yeah, it's, it's yeah, legit, yeah. it's legit. You go on and watch my MMR. You saw me be top 500 ARAM players as well. I posted it on Twitter, Oh, man. yeah, you did, yeah. So... Yeah. But why? That's the thing. Like, it's not. A competitive I don't know, man. Game, I, I just like playing Arum, and I just had fun playing Arum, and suddenly I just realized I was very high elo Arum. That's not the worst thing that that person's engaged in. They're engaged in being a VTuber. Arum is fine. Why? I think VTubers are um really just 
you know, it's a. I'm not talking about the team in NLC. It's, it's a veneer, isn't it? It's a facade that we project. I think people who become the it's a it's a very worrying trend for me. Well, I think the, the removal the removal of I self from broadcast. The no, removal of I, no, the removal of self from broadcast. I I think that um, to a certain extent, the removal of self is already there. Um, and I think that just putting down a different picture in front of the person, I don't think that actually has a particularly meaningful um effect on the efficacy of of what they're saying of their performance um, yeah I, I i just i don't see how it's impactful um well you know it really is a testament to the uh the loserdom of young disenfranchised males everywhere that they can develop parasocial relationships with vtuber models so shout out to you young men everywhere you pathetic <laughs> wretches <laughs> Well, hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure it's it's quite like people have developed parasocial relationships with like John Lennon. Like, yeah, I, I, it's not it's not a recent phenomenon. Yeah, but John Lennon isn't like a fucking 35 year old woman from Finland that like pretends to be a shark lady on Twitch.tv. He actually wrote like Imagine like and like other good songs that like will cha have changed I, the landscape I... of music. If John Lennon was a VTuber. If think? John Lennon was a VTuber, his legacy would be dead in the ground, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely torched. No, well, what what sort of model uh, do you think that he would be going for? He'd be going for a model that doesn't exist, mate, because he's just off a different... He's cut from a different cloth, mate. You, you, you reckon he... W w do you think that there, there are any members of the Beatles that would be a VTuber? Um, no, I'd like to think not, mate, seeing as I look up to all of them. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Like to think that some of my personal idols would not be responsible for such inane oh, no, tomfoolery. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ringo Starr. Um, <laughs> don't say fucking Ringo, you plebeian mate. That is horrible no, no, for no, you. No, 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 but no. Hear me out. Ringo Starr was on Thomas the Tank Engine, right? Stop it. I feel like, and and I feel like Thomas the Tank Engine is basic was basically VTubing before VTubers were a thing. No, it's ways. fucking it's not. Just it's just animated. You had the animated faces that would like replicate like human like emotions, like and in, in, in facial like things and stuff, and you'd have them <laughs> interacting in strange scenarios that the normal person couldn't ever expect to get into. This is like saying this, ev this is this like this saying song? this is like saying when Louis Spence was in like. Dick Whittington and he played that mouse that he was a VTuber. Are you going to start saying that Louis Spence is a VTuber or what? Like, what, Lenny Henry's a VTuber as well. Like, all of these <laughs> actors that have played, like, somewhat... What, we're going to start saying that animatronic forms and, like, pretending to be inanimate objects well, like so, trains I, I, I is think, VTubers. I, I no, think, it's, but, it's, it's not, is it? You, you it's... fucking... You fucking plant pot. What are you saying, mate? Like, it's incredible. I... How, incre how, incredibly, how incredibly asinine and inane of you, you silly little man. You've suggested that the prerequisite for being a VTuber and the long, inordinate history of it is people that have played inanimate objects before. Incredible work from you, Mr. Scott, mate. <laughs> Yeah, Spyro the Dragons of VTuber, mate. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Vienna, I... Vienna's yeah. a dragon, so like that's kind of like there's kind of a vibe there. I'm, I'm gonna I'm... get a Byro and draw draw a smiley face on this nationwide card reader, and that's gonna be a VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, if I say that I spoke without thinking, will you forgive me? Oh, absolutely, mate. I spoke without thinking. If anything, there's no need to apologise. You've actually just given me a vehicle to talk for a few minutes, which is, you know, all that anyone could really offer me in the greatest capacity, which I love. That is quite cool. What What was the occasion for the, uh, the evening's festivities? Um, I don't know. I just went out and um, saw... Oh. I went out with my brother and his girlfriend, and then there was a few other people there. Yeah. It's quite nice. Where'd you go? It's like, uh, I don't actually want to say because it's like a regular stomping just, ground. Uh, just give the country. Oh, the United Kingdom. Yeah, it was nice, in the United nice, Kingdom. Nice, that's quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in East, in East London, actually. East London. Okay. Oh, let's not be too specific, man. Go, go, go even further if you would like. Okay, what, have, uh, what have you been up to? 
Yeah, well, uh, I had Red Bull Solo Q qualifiers yesterday, so uh, oh, I got sheesh. home at about yeah. uh, 1 a.m. Uh, from the train. Had to sleep a couple of hours, wake up, eight hours of school until 4.30. Yeah. From that's, 8 to 4.30, uh, yeah. That's intense, man. Well, are you, you're doing that with um, Bullborg, isn't it? Uh, Gullborg, yeah. Gullborg. Gullborg, yeah. How long have you been doing those? Uh, Red Bull Solo Q, I started doing them when I turned 18, of course. Uh... So that was uh, I've done the the fall round and now we're doing the spring round as well. So, so like, this is my second second rodeo on Rebel Solo Q. So what like is it? It is a one. It is actually the world's biggest one v one tournament. And over in the UK, you guys will have your own regional qualifiers as well. Oh, where it will be oh, so, oh, uh, so it's like a, come in. Oh, so yeah. it's like the, it's like an event that you. Qualify for, and I assume there's like a, a finals or something. Yeah, you get you go to online qualifiers. They're from home. You have some casters casting it, and it's a double elimination bracket. Top eight goes to playoff. Top top two goes to the finals. And those are land finals, for example, in Denmark, uh, at the biggest Danish event, uh, esports event of the year at the uh, Gamebox, uh, in Herning. We go over there in April. Then we have the offline finals with the eight best players throughout the four qualifiers. Then we find the best player, and then we send him in to defend our crown at the World Championship in terms of solo queue. Red Bull Solo Q. We do have the defending champion, yes. Denmark is just greater than everyone else. Viggo Mobsen, he he couldn't get touched by anyone. He's the best in the world. Who? Viggo, who the fuck is Viggo Mobsen? Yeah, he's the world champion of one v ones, man. He's the one world champion of one v ones. Who on who on earth is that, mate? Yeah, Viggo Mobsen, he's a world champion of Red Bull Solo Q. I just looked, I just looked him up. He's world. he's not played anywhere other than Denmark ever, mate. So he's yeah, a... but he's won Rebel Red Bull Solo Q world champion final. Well, I drank a Red Bull yesterday, so do you know what I mean? We're on similar levels, mate. So, <laughs> congratulations to sure him. That's, I'm not sure that's how it works. Well, realistically, mate, like, yeah. if I got into a sumo wrestling fight with eight other people and we were just naked and we just, like, beat each other over the head with Red Bull canisters, that would be a similar physical feat as someone winning a 1v1 tournament sponsored by Red Bull. So, and I can confidently say that I've done that before. So, therefore... Hello, it's me, the champion, mate. I've got a fucking belt on as well. It's not quite a WWE belt, but anyway. Where is it now? Where have I put it? It's by my feet. It's okay. this. Okay. It's a belt, mate. Congratulations, you own a belt. Yeah, it's a oh, Ralph Lauren belt, actually. So, you know. I'm very impressed. Right, it's been a, been a bit of a messy show this evening. Um, But I feel oh, like really? as, we, uh, as we get towards the close, we should probably <laughs> actually talk about League of Legends and uh, and what's going to happen. I, no, I, don't I don't particularly want to talk about the game today because there were people that lost out that are near and dear to me. Who? It makes me sad. <laughs> who? Yeah, who lost what? that were near and dear to you? Hey, fucking Divo, mate! <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Divo! <laughs> Divo's lost out. He's only got a lost out. It's seven plays. It's not quite good enough for the playoffs, mate. You'll be off to Portsmouth soon. You won't be playing the playoffs too. Oh, Divinus. You couldn't quite make it, mate. Sorry to tell ya. I know. I won't sing that anyway. Right. <laughs> You continued. Yeah, so if anyone didn't know, uh, London United uh, didn't, make <laughs> didn't, make it. <laughs> didn't make playoffs. <laughs> which is sad. In case uh, you didn't get the hint. Which is sad, but we do have our um, our top six: yeah. Monster, Natives, Rate, Lumvis, Lightside, um, Klung, mm -hmm. and Lucent. Yeah. No. And third and didn't make it either. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Okay. Are you going to sing about that as well? Yeah, it wasn't the chance to begin with. <laughs> you lost so many games. And we know who's to blame. It's Jack Middlecott Scott. He's a twat. And your mid laners, mum's got Twitter. And she needs to follow me this instant. <laughs> Is that not Don Jake on Twitter? Ericsson's mum, follow me, please. <laughs> right.
right? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, predictions. Uh, what was the one you were about to ask, middle guy? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> drink some water. Drink some water, mate. It's it's okay. Keep it in. Keep it in. <laughs> It is. Right, uh, yeah. It's it's pretty simple, right? Uh, yeah. In terms of playoffs, Fling lead. They beat Lucent three zero. Raid beat Lightside three zero. Fling beat Raid three two. Fling meet Nadis in the losers bracket final. They beat them three zero. Uh, <laughs> Fling beat uh, beat Monster Rugby Gaming in the final three zero. Mopes, who knows? Uh, probably uh, on vacation or something. It is uh, yeah. Fling lead all the way. Okay. Right now. Duckling, could you say that entire like sentence again without being silly? Okay, so so legitimate predictions would be. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. But I do, I do kind of want to hear like well, what your what your thoughts are on some of these matchups. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree though that Raid beats Lightside and Fling Elite beats uh, Lucent. Obviously, I do have a little bit extra faith in Fling, but that's because I know if they hit their actual peak and play together as a five man unit, they can beat pretty much any team. I think it's going to be tough against Natives, Monster Rugby Gaming, and Raid in a best of five. Uh, but if they just play to the level I am confident they should be able to play at pretty easily, uh, they should beat Lucent 3-1 to one maybe. Uh, and I don't think Lightside really have been impressive this second half. The split has been absolutely yeah. hor horrifying for them. So they're lucky to make it into playoffs. It was not even in their own hands. They had to count on, uh, oh, yeah. on guard yeah. Gunkus. Uh, so I think Raid, who have just showed up in the second half of the split, will absolutely clap them 3-0. I'd listen, I'm going to predict the whole bracket right now, man. Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah, yeah. Give it a listen and clip this, man, because yeah, this okay. is accurate right now. Yeah. Monster Rugby Gaming are going to beat Natives 3 1 in the upper bracket. Yep. Yeah. And then Rate Gaming is going to beat LLS 3 1. Yep. Yeah. Flong is going to beat Lucent 3 1. The series between Rate and Flong is going to be 3 2. Flong is going to win. Then Natives is going to beat Flong 3 1. And then in the final, it's going to be a 3 2 Natives. That actually, that actually sounds super semi realistic. I, yeah, I can agree with that. That's, that's that sounds, sounds realistic. That's, that's better than yours, though. Yeah, of course, but just remember, I'm Danish biased. Obviously, I, my fling I've, was. I've, uh, turned, I've, turned on, I've turned on my seriousness for a second, though. I, but I, 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 I wholeheartedly no, think that is realistic predictions. I think at the moment, I would prefer Raid's consistency over Fling and Lead. Uh, yeah. But I can definitely see Fling and Lead beating. I think, yeah, again, if Fling and Lead hit their peak, they can beat any team. And they will be matched by natives and monster rugby gaming. That's so fling. I think it is reasonable to say natives That's will win fling. over fling. Yeah. One 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 guy to another. Hmm? Just to let you know that uh, saying if they hit their peak is not a reliable strategy. And good thing it, I'm a good thing I'm a play by play caster. Uh, I don't uh, need uh, no, reliable no, no, arguments. No, 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 no. And whilst it stand may give you hope. Stand. Ooh, baby. Gonna get to you, girl. Bro, Rate Gaming's jungler is named after a Lady Gaga song. Yeah, Formless Girl. Right. And there's some really fucking good Lady Gaga songs. There are. Like, um... Formless I live right? for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. I think, uh, Duckling, about the same I think Duckling, uh, the Flung Light Side, ma uh, the Flung Lucent matchup, I'm mm -hmm. actually a little bit more in Lucent's favour. Yeah, but that's because you're a Syntax uh, fanboy. Is there a guy called Syntax? What? That's yeah. an incredible first, name. Firstly, yes. Secondly, Duckling, I have never spoken about Syntax in my life, I swear to God. I just had the feeling I'm good at reading people. And then again, I know Syntax no. has been smurfing. Uh, he has been. No, I was going to talk about Akers. Because yeah. they've got Akers in. Right, so I've got That's a message. Intense. I've got yeah. a message that Lucent's actually going to beat Flong, mate. Fuyu's just told me. Fuyu's told you. I don't know why he said it. He said, by order of the porky fucking blinders, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Akers won Red Bull Solo Q, but did he win the world championship against Vigo Mopsen? I didn't think no, so. No, Who the fuck is Vigo Mopsen, man? Vigo Mopsen is the world champion. I, I've, world I've, I've, champion. I've never, I've never heard of him. Quite I'm going to go look yeah, him up now. Vigo Mopsen, mate. Who the fuck is this, mate? You can go look it up. You can look it up. Red Bull Solo Q. Red Bull Solo Q. Vigo Mobson. Yeah. Well, no yeah. wonder. I've, I've, look him and everything. I've looked at his Twitter, mate, and the last retweeted thing is something of you, mate. So, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, it's because Vigo Mobson is a very nice guy. We follow each other. 
world champion in 1v1. You go down and you see him posing with the trophy as well. Go a few pictures down. Cashier the flexing that Viggo Mobsen took Red Bull solo queue title to Denmark. That was the official Red Bull tweet. You see him with Trouble Inc as well, actually a good caster compared to you, Middle Cut. You also see him with Medic, Kedril, Shots. Listen, listen, you pipe it down just for a second there, you absolute detrite <laughs> semblance of a silly little man. <laughs> Mr. Jack Middlescott is a good caster, mate, and I've casted him before. And he brings colour to any broadcast because he's the rainbow jacket man. Um, he's the multi multicoloured dream dream coat of NLC. Thank you. And and you need to stop any sort of comment like that. Oh, I'm going to put you in a little WWE headlock, mate. I'm going to get you, mate. I'm going to back in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, mate? Like. I actually substantially I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah. moved my bed there. <laughs> I've also opened up the HTML text settings on my Chrome browser, so, you know. I'm Ooh, not going to lie. Not going to lie, Darkling. I googled Vigo, Vigo Mobson, and I got no results. Yeah, but uh, Shox tweeted about him, said, this Vigo Mobson is an absolute smurf on December 5th, 2021. Duckling, duckling. Shocks not, also, shocks also tweeted. Um, I'm not being funny, but you can't. You're I'm not, not spelling funny, it. You know, it, it is not what a V. It is a P. It's a P. Yeah, it is hey. Mopson. Mop. Okay. There we go. There we 4, go. Four thousand results, upset. man. I get more yeah. than that. I get more. Go, than go that. to his Twitter. Go to his Twitter go right now. Twitter, right? Go to his Twitter. Go, go to, to his Twitter. Twitter. Scroll down just hold a little on, bit. I, hold on. I just, I've just realised opening random Twitters is probably not a good idea. What, what do you think? Is there going to be like a dog? Well, I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's Vigo Mopson. Vigo Mopson is a nice guy. It's well, a nice hey, guy. Hey, this is this is really random guy on his Twitter. I don't know who this is. Oh, yeah, that's like a pretty important dude. Have you ever seen this gentleman in my... Mm, yeah, no idea, man. <laughs> yeah, scroll down a little bit. Scroll down a little bit. You're actually I'm in not... the video, middle card. You're in that video. You're in that video. I'm in that video. What? Yeah, your voice is in that video. The oh, pentacles. Yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah. the Shiko yeah. Penta. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad Yeah, the Shiko yeah, Penta. Yeah. Call yeah, it right again. I dare you. No, yeah. no, right, right. Well, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Exactly. Of, course, of, of course you didn't. I don't, I don't mean anything I say to you at the middle card. Uh -huh. Including the good things. Ah, uh, very cool, very cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> Gents. <laughs> Man, that's been a bit been of a whirlwind. Hour. That has that has been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, feels like we are coming towards the end of it. So um, I just want to give both of you opportunity to give any shout outs, anything that you want to mention, anything that you want to bring up, any people who like you feel deserve yeah. a bit of airtime here, Jake. Oh, well, listen, mate. I just want to say to all the Carmine Court fans, mm -hmm. um, listen. Stop thinking that you're some sort of football hooligans, ultras, and going after people from the NLC in rather aggressive, harassing ways on Twitter. But, you know, you're about as scary as, uh, you know, exam results, mate. You just you don't actually have any sort of temporal uh, fear in a tangible space, mate. I've been to West Ham in an Arsenal T-shirt. There is nothing that any Carmine, <laughs> there's nothing that any Carmine Court fan can say to me on Twitter that would derive derive anything more than the heebie-jeebies within me. You silly little f men. So stop that right now, please, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So being a fan is cool. Being a fan yeah. and bullying people on Twitter and harassing no, being them. A, being a fan is cool, but just to let you know, like the idea of a, of, a, of a League of Legends Ultra is a very silly idea because it is indeed a children's wizard game that we all play. Well, it's it's quite difficult. You can't really just be sat at home and then throw pyrotechnics at your own computer screen. 100%, mate. <laughs> it doesn't really it's give not, the same feeling, you know. The problem, with, the problem with Carmine Court fans is they let off uh, flares every time that Reckless gets a CS lead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, duckling. Anything yeah. from yourself, mate. You know. Also, uh, the other. Problem, sorry, the other oh, problem is yeah. if if, uh, if LFL on. only gets two seeds next split, then there's going to be lots of French women in the streets getting their tits out. <laughs> I don't in, in protest. Oh my. <laughs> duckling, let's wrap up this madness. Yeah. Anything, anyone you want to <laughs> shout out? <laughs> Uh, the thing is, I actually thought about it. I had a good shout out to my mum last time around. This time, I want to thank. I actually want to be like real serious for just half a minute. I know it's been tough this episode, uh, but I want to thank the people that have believed in me uh, when I was shit. Uh, that includes uh, the guys at Square One, uh, mainly Pixel and Kai back then. 
Uh, I, that includes Didelis, who picked me up when I was like 15 years old, and I hadn't done any League of Legends before in the Danish scene. Uh, that includes Gulbo uh, for realizing that I actually had the potential to be a, a caster uh, when I was shit. That includes uh, Kai yet again for giving me my ERL debut in NLC Division 2. Uh, and that also includes uh, Kronko for carrying the production of uh, Bifrost, Tell Your League Game, and uh, Summer for 2021, and being a very nice guy. Yep. That's it. That's it. That was my thank list for today. Yeah, I'd like to thank, in a similar vein, um, everyone that believes in me, which is everyone who's ever witnessed me in my I- tremendous girth, because to see me is to Good. believe in me. And although innately you might, you know, view me as sort of Marmite, yeah. um, your mum loves me, so there's not really any <laughs> choice that you have in terms of supporting me in my burdening, burgeoning career. And with that, uh, we will say good evening. <laughs> Take you very good care of yourselves. You we are going to be back Thank for you. the playoffs. So, yes, we're still going to have loads of event after for you then. Might do some sort of stream uh, discussing uh, a bit more serious results and implications for playoffs. But um know about that in due time. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Mr. Cox. Take care.